Hi and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today we'll be cooking paper wrapped chicken. So let's start cooking. First, we'll marinate the chicken. I have with me over here two pieces of Thai meat weighing 520 grams. I'm going to add in some white pepper. I'll be adding in 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of fresh ginger juice, 1 tablespoon of concentrated chicken stock. You can use chicken stock powder if you want to. 2 cloves of garlic grated, 2 pieces of spring onion. I've slightly smashed them using only the white stem as well as one teaspoon of sugar. Mix them up well and leave them in the fridge to marinate for at least two hours. I'll see you back in a while. I'm going to show you how to wrap this paper wrapped chicken. What I have over here is a piece of baking paper about this size. So how are we going to wrap this? Place this down on a tray or on your tabletop. Take a piece of the chicken. Put in one or two pieces of a spring onion. From here, we fold it up. Make sure you have a little bit of allowance over here because we need to fold this. So push the meat down a little bit. Make a line over here like this, so it's easier to fold. Now we fold this over, just like this. Make a line over here too. Same thing for this side. Also, fold it over. Pack it as though you're just packing a parcel. After this is done, just turn it using your palm. Press it down over here and push it down a little bit just to tighten this little parcel. Okay, pull it a little bit because we need to slot this inside this slot over here. So I'm just going to shorten this a little bit. Only use baking paper, don't use wax paper for this. After that, when you fold it in, just slot it inside this little envelope hole over here. And there you have it, a nice little parcel. Okay, I'll show you another one how we actually make this. Same thing, piece of paper. A piece of chicken, one or two pieces of the spring onion. Fold this side out. Make sure that you have some allowance over at the other side. If not, just push the chicken to the center. Take a line over here. Fold it. Take a line. This one, turn it over. Fold it. My art is not very good, so it's kind of ugly. But important thing is the taste, right? You're cooking over here. So same thing. Fold it. Using a pump, press it over here, at this edge over here, and push the chicken down. Securely tighten it, like this. And then we will slot this end into this little hole over here. And that's how we do it. So I'll finish it up, and then I'll show you how I'm going to fry this little parcels of joy. We are going to deep fry our chicken now. Important thing is to heat up the oil. I'm using medium heat over here. Using a bamboo skewer, let's test whether the oil is hot enough or not. Put it in. If you see bubbles rising up, I don't know whether you can see it or not over there at this angle. I can actually see bubbles rising rapidly up. Okay, that means the oil is hot enough. Now the important thing is not to overcrowd the pot. I have 14 pieces over here, so I'm going to fry it in two batches. Make sure that the meat side is facing down. Right. Let it slowly cook its own sauce. This will take approximately 10 minutes or so. This part I'm using is a non-stick green pan Dutch oven. Fantastic for braising, making stews, deep frying, and a lot of things you can do with this. This is smelling really, really, really good. Now remember when you're doing deep frying or cooking in general, when you remove the item from the fridge, make sure that you rest them at room temperature before you cook them, just to make sure that they'll be cooked through. That's very important. You just need to cook it on one side and you do not need to flip it because basically the oil is hot enough and the chicken is cooking inside its own juice. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Let's remove them from the oil. This is smelling so great. Strain the oil off. Now remember, you need to pack it very tightly. Otherwise, the juice will flow out into the oil and splatter all around. So this is important.
continue with the second batch. So our dish is done. Let's have a taste. I'm so excited. Open it up, open it up. Smells fantastic. Come, come and take a look. The spring onion has actually infused its aroma inside the chicken, and this will taste fantastic. I'm very, very sure. Let's give it a taste now. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. It's so flavorful. The ginger, the spring onions, the garlic. Wow. This is fantastic. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. I think I'll take another one.